this video, you will learn how to install our Aquaflow model CRO-800UX6 tankless reverse osmosis system, which is contained within this carton. In this video, you will learn how to unpack, inspect, and familiarize yourself with the various installation components that are included with your RO system. The most important thing is to first read and understand the contents of this manual before installing or operating your RO system. Watch for the various warning, caution, and note images placed throughout the manual. They are used to help emphasize important information as you are installing the system. There will be a fittings package which includes various installation components including a small packet of silicone grease. This is the front of the RO module assembly. Make note of the item, model, and serial number label located on the right side panel. Write down this information in your manual. This RO module comes with a leak detector mounted on the bottom of the module. It will provide an audible and visual alarm if it detects any water on the surface below the system. This is the top of the RO module that shows where the faucet, inlet, drain, and power connections are located. These are the 3-in-1 filter cartridge and RO membrane cartridge that you'll be inserting into the RO module assembly. This is the power transformer. A nearby electrical power socket is required for the operation of this RO system. These are the three colored poly tubing lengths provided. Quarter inch poly tubing that is red in color is used to connect to the drain. Three eighths poly tubing that is white in color is used to connect to the inlet. And three eighths poly tubing that is blue in color is used to connect to the faucet. This is the T adapter and fittings required to connect the cold water feed source to the RO module assembly. These are the drain saddle components and fittings required to connect the RO module assembly to the drain. These are the components and fittings required to install the RO faucet. Here are some suggested tools that may be useful for the installation. Cleanliness is essential in the preparation procedure. Be sure to wash your hands thoroughly before handling the cartridges. The use of surgical gloves is strongly recommended. In this video, we will show you a typical location of where to install the RO system. It should be positioned where there is access to a cold water inlet source, a drain, and a nearby electrical power socket. The RO module assembly is typically installed under the sink and placed in an upright position as shown. Do not lie the RO module on its side. The system will not operate properly if done so. It's recommended to place a towel and pail into position to capture any possible water that may drip during the installation process. Then shut off the water supply before you proceed any further. In this video, you will learn how to install the RO faucet. We recommend use of a drill with a 16th inch, 1 8th inch, quarter inch, and half inch drill bit, along with a hammer, a hole punch, a marker, and don't forget to use the safety glasses. Begin by placing the white disc base of the RO faucet in position and mark where you want to drill the hole. Then use the hammer and hole punch to make an indent. We suggest drilling the hole in stages by first using the 1 16th inch bit to start the hole, followed by the 8th inch bit, the quarter inch bit, and finally the half inch bit, all while spraying some water on the drill bits to help keep them cool. Clean the area and dispose of any debris. Remove the white protective coating from the faucet base to expose the chrome finish. Then place the small rubber washer, the chrome base, and the larger rubber washer into position. 
while placing the RO faucet through the drilled hole, position the spout so that the water is dispensed over the sink. On the underside of the sink, place the rubber washer, star washer, and lock nut into position and thread all the way to the top. Tighten the lock nut using a wrench. Then, thread on the 3 8 faucet adapter hand tight. Using the silicone grease provided, lubricate the end of the tubing with a light coating and push the end of the tubing firmly into the fitting. You should feel it push past the O-ring and then place the blue clip in a position to lock the tubing into place. In this video, you will learn how to install the T-adapter to the cold water inlet pipe. With the water already turned off, use a wrench to help disconnect the cold water hose pipe. Then, thread the T-adapter on the 3 8 cold water shutoff valve, and tight will suffice. Then, connect the hose pipe to the other end of the T-adapter using a wrench to tighten. Using the silicone grease provided, lubricate the end of the elbow stem, and push into the T-adapter. Then, snap the blue clip into position. Then lubricate the end of the white tubing, push it into the quick connect elbow fitting, followed by the blue clip to lock it into place. In this video, you'll learn how to install the drain saddle kit. The kit contains a foam rectangle with a sticky surface on one side. Remove the paper to expose the sticky surface and place it onto the bracket with the hole. There are two bolts and two nuts provided to clamp the drain saddle around the drain pipe. Start by placing the two brackets on either side of the drain pipe. Then feed one of the bolts through the bracket holes and place the nut on the other side. Repeat this process using the other bolt and nut. And then using a screwdriver, tighten both bolts so that the drain saddle will remain in place. Then use a quarter inch bit and drill a hole through the drain pipe. Feed an end of the quarter inch red poly tubing through the compression nut, ensuring that the tip will be positioned inside of the drain pipe, and then hand tighten the compression nut. In this video, you will learn how to connect the polytubing to the RO module assembly. Remove the plug in the inlet position of the RO module. Lubricate the end of the stem elbow, push it into position, and clip into place. Then lubricate the end of the 3 8 white polytubing coming from the T adapter, push into the stem elbow, and clip into place. Remove the plug in the drain position of the RO module. Lubricate the end of the stem elbow. Push into position and then clip into place. Then lubricate the end of the quarter inch red poly tubing coming from the drain saddle and push into the stem elbow and clip that into place. Remove the plug in the faucet position of the RO module. Lubricate the end of the stem elbow, push into position, and clip into place. And then lubricate the end of the 3 8 blue poly tubing coming from the faucet, push it into the stem elbow, and clip it into place. In this video, you will learn how to install both the 3 in 1 filter and the RO membrane cartridges. First, remove the clear protective cover away from the RO module. Remove the wrap from the 3-in-1 filter cartridge and with the triangle icon pointing towards the 9 o'clock position, slide it into the upper hole of the RO module. Gently push the cartridge in and rotate it clockwise until the triangle icon is pointing up at the 12 o'clock position. It is now locked in position. Then you're going to remove the wrap from the RO membrane cartridge and slide it into the lower hole of the RO module and conduct the exact same process 
and lock it into position. Then place the clear protective cover back into place on the front of the RO module. In this video, you will learn how to start up the RO system. Slowly open the cold water inlet valve on the plumbing, as well as the T adapter. Then connect the power adapter to the RO module and plug the power transformer into the wall outlet. When power is provided, the RO module will beep and all four lights on the face of the module will flash three times. If no error is detected, then the system will automatically flush itself for approximately 30 seconds and then water will stop running the drain. Next, open the RO faucet and allow the water to run for approximately 10 minutes to flush the cartridges. Don't be alarmed if you see black carbon fines coming out of the RO faucet. This is normal and will eventually clear. At this time, check the system thoroughly for leaks and if any are found, close the inlet shutoff valve and unplug the power and correct the issue. After 10 minutes of flushing, close the RO faucet to make sure the booster pump stops operating. Now it's time to reset the life of the cartridges. Press and hold the reset key for three seconds until you hear a beep. The blue light above the three in one icon will start flashing. Then press and hold the reset key for three seconds until you hear a double beep. This means the cartridge life has been reset. Then press and hold the reset key for three seconds until you hear a beep. Then press the select button as the blue light above the arrow icon will start flashing. And then press and hold the reset key for three seconds until you hear a double beep. Clean the installation area and your RO system is now ready to use. Visit us at www.canaturewg.com or call us toll free at 1-877-288-9888.